All right. With that, we have another donation league here. thailand has been so generous to give us a buy a league. You can do that down below in the description for YouTube. And for those on Twitch, you can hit exclamation point donate or tip. Both of those get you to the pages in order to buy a league. Now we have Escape Shift from Thalian here. And Escape Shift is kind of an interesting one. In this case, it is a Escape Shift list. It's red green, so it's kind of like your Titan Shift lists here. It's going back to that Titan Shift, just ramp out, slam the Titan, slam the Escape Shift and win. But it's been enhanced a little bit. And how has it been enhanced? It has things like Dryad that's going to like quadruple up on your Valakut triggers because everything's a mountain. It's also got this Escape to the Wilds. Escape to the Wilds reads XL five cards at the top, and you can play those in the next turn, up to the next turn. And then you can also play an additional land. So it's a ramp spell. It goes really well with, say, Dryad with the Valakuts going on, and it could also just find you your win condition next turn. Got some castles here that are technically ramp as well. This is pretty good. In general, though, it's a scape shift list, and we'll see if we can do 18 damage to our opponents on the appropriate turn. Sideboard here, it's been modified ever so slightly here, but we've got some Baylos for those Liliana and needing some life gain matches. We've got Weather the Storms here, some Force of Vigors. We've got Pithing Needles and Damping Spheres and Grafticers Cages. We have a little bit of everything, so I'd be comfortable with taking this to a larger event as we're trying to be a little bit wider with our sideboard. But if you find yourself against certain things, perhaps Prowess, Combo, or whatever, tune the sideboard just ever so slightly in those favors. So, with that, no Field of the Dead. Yep, none of that. Let's go ahead and play around here. Some Scape Shift. It's, uh, it's been a little bit. We like, we like a good Scape Shift. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Playing the Titans, ramping ourselves out, getting the Dryads. This could be fun. Not a bunch of bolts. We're going to be a little bit susceptible to something that's very quick off the ground here. Very aggressive lists. But hopefully we don't find ourselves against Landfall Zoo, for example. Let's go. Let's begin. And again, thank you for the, the, the buying of the league. Blast Zone seems good. Maybe. <laughs> All right. We'll keep the opener here. You do like to see a search for tomorrow. We can work our way up here and then maybe scape shift. That's what the list wants to do. We want to ramp, 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 ramp. And seeing already that we've run into perhaps a blue list, hopefully that won't be the case. Let's go ahead and get a forest here and suspend. I'm not worried about getting the red mana. We're going to get that with the search for tomorrows. We'll be fine. Thoughts on Explore versus Farseek? <laughs> ah, so it's Prowess here. Seems fine. Search tick down here. We're going to just search again. Suspended, Stomping Ground, tapped, and past turn. By the way, our opponent as it is at the lovely 18 here. Should be good. We actually have a good chance of winning this one, it looks like. Lava Dart. Oh boy. List is the second one there, Calico, with a slight change to the sideboard. Don't worry about it, right? We're going to play Chandra here and down tick the Chandra. That way I can kill something here because we just need to sustain ourselves. Just get the forest here. Another scape shift. Play Chandra to stabilize briefly here. Down tick and pass turn. We're at 13. A little sketchy, but we're, we're alive. <clears throat> turn 3 escape would be nice, but we can't do it on turn 3. It's got to be turn 4 here. Opponent's killing a Chandra. That's good for us. We are going to probably escape, though, hoping to hit lands here, and then we should be able to escape shift right after. We'll see if we live, though. Opponent's only got one land, so that's good for us. They have a 3-3 three, three, and a 2-3. Two, three. <clears throat> Looks like a good start here. 
I hope they don't quad lava dart. I'm at 11. All right, search for tomorrow here comes off. Play our mountain. All right, one, two, three, four, five. This makes six. Six isn't enough here unless I had like a dry it out. So we'll probably just do the escape here. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they'll need another card. What they do here? Bottom and a top. Well, we'll do escape. Lightning bolt's a really good find here. We can mountain lightning bolt, kill the three drop, and then we can play castle and pass the turn because you, you have to actually pay for these. Anyway, we have them dead next turn. They have just a swift spear here. The lightning bolt was very key to find. Do they have enough here? They need a couple mana morphoses to get this one going. Swift spear is not going to do it. And a lightning bolt. That's not going to do it. I should have enough here. So, uh, wooded foothills. Explore to play the castle down here and then scape shift. We don't have to worry about, we don't have to worry about drawing the Valakuts. Because <clears throat> we have so many of them. But yeah, they're, they're very dead here. They, they very dead. Thank you for not making me click. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. Good start there. Just making sure we had extra lands here. They're very dead, though. Plenty of here. You get like two, three Valakuts, and then you can get the rest of mountains, and you're good to go. Remember, we have 14 mountains. Just got to keep that in our, our, our noggins here. Weatherstorm, Baylos look pretty good here and potentially Angers. And so the question is, what do we want to take out? Thunderbird's just going to do all the math for us. I used to have a lot of it memorized. I don't as much as I used to. <laughs> My opponent's going to be playing things like Spell Pierce, so we can play around that. Um, Dryad could be a bit overkill here in this Probably instance, I probably want to get rid of the Chandra. One Primeval Titan's probably okay. I could potentially take two Explorers out here. I almost want to take just one more Primeval Titan out and possibly an Escape. Taking a little more of our top end out here and then a little bit of the ramp because I just want to have life gain. Kind of what I'm thinking. The fry is okay for the, the blue creature, but I think if they're having to go into that, we'll have hopefully gained enough or have ramped enough by then. I don't know if I want to do the fry, honestly. You can make an argument the fry is better than the anger, possibly. You could make that argument. This is probably a little bit better just to kill the creatures that they get too large for an anger. That's something to consider. You had the chance to write escape shift and you didn't. I fixed it. I think that's what we called the list. Stop distracting. Let's we'll try the fries. We'll try the fries. It hits eight cards like it's been mentioned. I think the angers might be just better. But hey. Who am I to who am I to worry about that? We'll keep this. We have a blocker. What's interesting is secure a tribe elder is just game two, usually. And again, we have the search for tomorrow's. It's one of the best ways to accelerate out. There's a soul scar mage. Valak could have Molten Pinnacle is not exactly what we wanted to draw. Forest here and Suspend. Go, go, go. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. Hand's pretty good because usually they have to throw something at the Tribe Elder. I like a basic here. 
Extra Swiss Spear, Soul Scar Mage. We're gonna fire off a bolt? No. So here's where Anger's just like phenomenally more better. <laughs> so if I draw Fry here, I'm gonna cry. Let's see here. How do I live long enough? I think I have Fran and Yama left, and then I'll have all the big boys. Oh, you're... Sp <laughs> I'm going to suspend one more time and put the Valakut down. I can continuously put things sideways, so I don't have to take damage here. I have a feeling just Bolt Bolt or... Maybe they'll quad lava dart me. <laughs> Maybe it's just the quad lava dart type of days. There's one lava dart. Do we have a second one? I'm going to light up the stage. Collecting streamers, last god. Sprite dragon manamorphose here. 369. 369 with a lava dart to get rid of Steve here. This is on turn three. Lava darts me, 4, 8, 12, down to 2. The 4 dot would be tragic. Cast this, get a forest. The dryad. You can see this. They can get around my one creature I block with. That was aggressive. That was aggressive. Let's swap that fry out for the angers. We didn't see either. I want the angers now. <laughs> send it back. Um, do I send it back here? Let's do one escape over. No, I like the 2-2 two -two split. Let's send it back. <laughs> angers may be the move. I didn't see the fry anyway. Let's play first. Ugh. I kind of like it because I have removal. I kind of don't because I don't have anything but the one removal. Do I... Hmm. It's not the worst. I mean, we, 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 we want to hit the land drops so and my opponent's more than likely to go to 18, so we only need seven lands to win the game. And the bolt's sort of nice here because it's going to get rid of their first threat. And I only take one damage here and then can put like tap land, tap land, tap land. You, I don't know how many times I play Scapeshift and it's almost always guaranteed you want to be doing the search for tomorrow on turn one. There they go to 19 at least. Maybe they shock him, maybe they don't. We have a Soul Scar Mage. Looks like a great target. Dang it. Um... Let's just go ahead and bolt. Bolt, we can far seek later. Bolt gets rid of the creature. We're trying to keep ourselves pretty healthy here. No reason to chance them throwing something at me. They shock this in, so we need only seven lands now. Sprite Dragon is scary, but not going to kill me too, too fast, hopefully. Removal spell would be great here. Cast. I think... I can go get a mountain in the off chance I hit anger here, which I do not. We'll far seek. Let's go get sheltered thicket. Tap land, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need two more turns here and I have to draw. I have to draw one of the answers. There's a lava dart. Here's these lava darts. I suppose the best draw here would maybe be escape, play two things and get a weather the storm out. That would be probably a surefire way to live. It is a viable strategy too, which looks like the strategy we're going to be heading towards. There's a Swift Spear. They have a Lava Dart. I'm at 15. I need a top deck. They answer here, which has to be Scape Shift. If 
I don't top here, I could draw a Dryad and kill some stuff. If I draw a Dryad, I could do a fetch land, which maybe makes the fetch land before this more valuable. Opponent Lava Darts us, takes us to 14. They're hitting me for a lot of damage. I'm going to 5, though. Uh, we quite literally hit all lands. We quite literally hit all lands. Well. That didn't go to plan. Hmm. Search for tomorrow. Bailoff. Land, land, land. Bailoff. Man. A lot of lands. But I guess it is scape shift. <laughs> Alright, we're going to be a little more aggressive for the mulligans there. There, there was, there were some tough draws. I guess I have twenty nine lands. Maybe I need to be more aware of that. That's actually kind of high. Now that I'm looking at that, I need to I need to be more aggressive with the mulligans. Let's take that as a learning opportunity. Let's not flood too too crazy here. The funny thing is that you have twenty nine lands, but you're like stealing out lands super fast from your your hand as well or your your library as well. All good though. We've learned some things. Let's move on. Put that one behind us. Got our feet wet. We can do this. We can do this. We used to play 28 lands. Then maybe I'm just a player that doesn't like to play a lot of lands. I think in Rug Scape Shift I play like 26. Twenty-nine lands is sort of left over from when field was a thing. I mean, you want a you want a fair amount of lands in scape shift. That's definitely a thing you want to do because then you can repeat scape shift, which is something that some lists cannot do. They can only do a one of scape shift, and then they're just like, "Well, I'm dead." But that's not as big of a problem for the death or not the death the the titan lists. All right, let's play first. Let's let's keep. This looks good. I can do this. Now I haven't played Scape Shift a lot with this little this little one. Let's go ahead and get that basic forest again. I like the basic forest on the off chance that I need to have green or not take as much damage against some of the more aggressive lists out there. Oh. Oh, Lotus Bloom. Oh. Oh. Alright. <laughs> The Lotus Bloom. We'll just put Valakut in sideways past the turn. Well then. Uh, do -do -do -do. <laughs> Slight of hand here and double Lotus Bloom. Those Lotus Blooms are at two ticks. This will be interesting. Cast our search for tomorrow here. I'm going to get the second forest on the off chance they're able to kill Dryad. One, two, three. Play Dryad. Land, land, go. I think we kill them next turn, if I'm not mistaken. But they could kill this. We gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Scalding turn here. Fetching. Basic. Basic. Does nothing else. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we think is the best play here? I mean, obviously, we're going to blast them for one. Primeval Titan's interesting. Uh, yes, I want to use this ability. Primeval Titan's interesting because I can then go get, like, what, two Valakuts? But Scapeshift is a true kill, right? Let me think here. Primeval Titan gets two more, gets two Valakuts seeing each other. Three triggers each. It's probably just scape shift, honestly. I mean, I guess I could slam the stomping ground here as well, but let's just float a bunch of mana here. You know what? I need to play around a mana leak. Let's do that. Float all the mana, scape shift here. <clears throat> play around the mana leak. 
my opponent, Valakut Awakenings. They could get a force here. I think they're both wins. Force of Negation does kind of stop this. They don't get it, though. Okay, so what are we playing against that has two Lotus Blooms, Valakut Awakening, and Sleight of Hand? Huh. So Veil of Summer is probably reasonable. I... Storm with Lotus, though? That's kind of interesting. No, it doesn't usually play Lotus. Is it like some weird through the breach list that they're trying to do through the breach really quick with the Lotuses? Hmm, honestly, not really sure. I don't think Chandra is going to be important here. Through the Breach and Blood Moon, yeah. Probably, probably. I mean, they're blue-red. Got to worry about that Blood Moon for sure. I think I can get rid of the Lightning Bolts and the Chandras here. Force of Vigors and Veils. So I just need to cut one more thing here. <laughs> Honestly, probably just an Explore. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. We don't know too, too much, and I haven't really seen a Lotus Bloom in a long time. We'll keep this because it has the Force of Vigor, which is nice in case they do have a Blood Moon. They also played all those Lotus Blooms, so we could, we could get them that way. Looks like a good start for us. I think I'm going to fetch a Basic. This allows us to get our second basic if we need to for the force, if we need to cast it. We may not need to cast it. After all, we have things like Escape the Wilds. Vessel of Volatility. a lot of mana. Lotus Bloom is at two. Okay, so just pass. I could kill this right now. I don't think we do. I know it's four mana. Almost would rather just see what they're doing. <laughs> it's looking like Storm. Yeah, and if they play like a Blood Moon here, Force of Vigor is just better on the Blood Moon than the Vessel. Now I do Force, right? But then I want to... Mm. This only hits two things, so I just blast these and let them have the Lotus Bloom. Yeah. I think it's I think it's just correct there. <laughs> I I that's a lot of mana. That can't be good if we let that resolve. <laughs> Let's just say that. Get a mountain here. Getting our lands, of course. Pass turn. Probably need a fetch now. Fetch one forest, fetch one uh, non basic. Alright, Lotus Bloom, you got five mana. Breach me. Breach me. Okay. Scary, but not. I'm going to go ahead and fetch here as well. And getting the second fetch here, we'll just get a land out that I don't want to be drawing later. All right, we got our double green at least. Let's see where it leads us. That's not a bad one. Escape the wilds. I'll take it. There's a force. We're getting there. Land. Go. What a great escape. 
What a great escape. They make blue. Uh-oh. Serum Visions. Panicking. Panic. Could have potentially hard casted Thunderbird. Could have. My opponent's panicking like crazy. Picking up all kinds of cards with that Lotus Bloom use there. Man. Well, I obviously go for this. Because I'm going to lose it otherwise. Okay. I can play a land from here. And I just far seek and hope they don't get me next turn. Plenty of lands here. I want like a second scape shift, honestly, for them to tap out. Oh gosh, another vessel. All right, I think I go for it here. Go for it once here. They have two cards. They don't have whatever they're doing. Can I use the alternate cost of force when it is exiled with escape? It's not your turn. You may exile a green card from your hand rather than play this spell's mana cost. I believe you can. Scape says, da da da, you may play an additional land, you may play the cards exiled with way until end. I believe you can. I think you can. There you go. Bounce back. 1 0. Onward. Onward. I don't know what was going on with the vessel. That person was on cloud nine, making so much mana, it did not work. Suspenser says, says rather than cast this card from your hand, it says from your hand, not exile. Four one from here, easy. Last God's the optimistic one. I'll go for a three two. Four one will be icing on the cake. Let's go. Let's go. Doing some escape shift stuff. Switching the lands from the ocean to the, the forest. All right, we'll keep this. Got an explorer here. Got this bolt. Nice cinder glade. Got the dryad. We're going to do this. All right. Ancient stirrings. Interesting. Metallic Mimic. All right, we know what's up. Let's go ahead and explore here. Play additional land and go. This looks good for us. Grayus, come on. There's the Mimic. Names. Construct. Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista. Hanger back walker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um... Far seek here, and I have to kill like the construct or something. I mean, I guess I can wait to kill the construct here. It's quite a quite an aggressive hand. The hardened scales. I don't care about Hangerback Walker here. They may do what they wish. I'm bolting the Mimic. Mimic's dying. That's, that's what I want dead. I could also bolt Walking Ballista and then Chandra Downtick Walking Ballista so that they can't kill me through Walking Ballista. That's like an option and then they just get Jumbo Hangerback Walker. But if they get Jumbo Hangerback Walker, they're not attacking with it. This is a thought. Oh no.
Oh no. That was a really good card. I don't know why that took so long to play land in that. Um... They just have it all. Well, if we didn't far seek and we left the bolts up, we would have been able to kill the mimic. Not that I expected three constructs right after. Yeah, that's not bad, and force of vigor is not bad. I'm wondering if I let this resolve. I don't think I do. Let's make it so they have one less thing on here. Go, 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 opponent. All right. You can do a lot to me. I'm tapped out. Yep. Yep, yep. Puts two on, puts another two on, that's six. Puts another two on, that's eight. And then puts this all on here. That's ten. Smacks me. I dead. Dang it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> that was a good turn three. That was a good, a good turn three. So anger the gods here is probably fine. And force along with this pithy needle happens to be pretty valuable. Chandra out one primeval titan here to explores. I'm gonna cut a land this time. I think I want to cut a land. Let's cut a castle here. <laughs> That's just infect with extra steps. That was. I don't think I want to do weather the storm. Damping sphere could kind of slow them down if they had an explosive hand like that, but it normally won't. So anger's pithing and force. These seems like the strongest things. I'm taking one castle out here because I'm cutting a primeval titan. It seems good. Seems good. We don't we don't need to ramp out to 29 lands. We need to live. Let's play first. Oh, okay. Mm. Land, suspend, play. Spend, play this, one draw, the two draw, play another, Dryad, Primeval Titan. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, it might not be good enough. But are they gonna have that big of an explosive hand again? I'm gonna I'm gonna play risky here. Uh, well, it's not really that risky. I'm on the play as well. I mean, if they just go off like crazy like they just did, then props to them. Props to them. Suspend, please. <laughs> Don't use my mana. Suspend. All right, opponent, what do you got here? Ancient Stirrings again? Yeah, it's a quick Titan for sure. And then we just rapid fire everything down because we'll have enough mana. Shaper's Sanctuary, that is fine. We do not hit the lands, but we do get a far seek again. I'm gonna take the shelter ticket out because I don't want to tap land here. Woo! Spaz! Thank you. It is a donation list. It is Thylian's list. Ancient Stirrings, Arcbound Worker, Shapers. Things feel fine so far. We'll cast this. We'll make green mana. Seems fine. Mm. I guess we'll just double Far Seek here. And hope for the best. Hope for the best. One, two, three, four, five. 
I have five mountains. Yeah, it's a turn four Titan. Turn four Titan with a Valakut trigger, which isn't the worst. I don't know if I want them to draw with Shapers, but, you know, maybe I just fire it upstairs. They don't attack with their Arcbound Worker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan. I might even just shoot the Arcbound Worker so they don't have one thing that's attacking me. It gives them one extra draw here. But that's like not a big problem. I think I'm really okay with killing this. And then we just play Dryad and just smack them for tons of damage. I see. I see. They hexproofed it. They got me. Dang it. Well, I don't think this gets through Titan. So Titan might just defend here. This is a really slow hand for them. We did it. Here we go, dry it, put smash. Fetch land might be lethal. I already have lethal here if I get to a swing. Yeah. Dryad, Steve, swing, win. That's the plan. <laughs> that, that, that is the plan. Mimic. You got it. Naming. Construct. All right, Thalian. Thank you for letting me go for it. I hope we get some good victories here. Appreciate the tip by as well should have it here unless they somehow give themselves great hex proof this is so good too now i can like secure a tribe elder here nature's claims the dryad all right that's fair should be still okay here though we'll primeval titan attacking uh, here, I should be able to get double Valakut, honestly. And we should be fine from there. Because then we can use Secure Tribe Elder. We can hit them for 9 and search for tomorrow as well. We'll see if they do any blocking. No blocking. So 6. And I think we just win now. Search for tomorrow. Go get a Mountain. Hit him for 9. Steve, hit him for nine. Pew, 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 pew. Lasers. Bam, bam, bam. Yes, of course I want to use this. And then sacrifice. And hit him for some more. Pew, 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 pew. Nine, nine. Plus the six that went through. Nine, 18. All this. Bam. Bam. <laughs> a lot of damage. It's a very combo-like, that's for sure. All right, any changes? My opponent's got Shaper Sanctuary, which I don't think is a good one. We did see the Ozolith. I've got the forces in for that. They did claim the Dryad, something that we need to be aware of. Got Pithy Needle that could be claimed as well. Primeval Titan might be just better than an Escape the Wilds. Let's go ahead and make that swap here. And because I'm doing that, I kind of want to take one land out for this castle. Let's take a Cinderglade out and replace the castle. All right, we're doing that because Primeval Titan's probably a little bit better than escaping and then the next turn trying to do something. And so if we can get that to roll, we'll be fine here. Opponent's Mulligan to six, and we have a draw. Hand seems okay. We'll go ahead and keep. I think just as we like to do, search for tomorrow. Try Elder. Let's find that castle. Let's get a Primeval Titan. Let's go. 13 mountains? Yep. Not 14. Sitting right here. Should be fine. Should be fine. I'm used to playing with only 11. Ancient Strains here. My opponent's got three cards plus this card. Looks really good with our search for tomorrow unless they have the complete bonkers of a hand here. If I Metallic Mimic, I might Stomping Ground, Shock, and just scare them. <laughs> Ozolith. 
That's not a scary card. We'll suspend and go ahead, opponent. Ancient Strains again here. As long as we hit our lands here, I think we run over this opponent this, this time. Having to mulligan so far down for whatever they needed to find just probably won't work out for them. Ozlith played and Hangerback Walker here. Search for tomorrow, suspend trigger down. We had a far seek. Let's shock in here. Let's play far seek. Let's get a thicket and pass the turn. So we'll have five mana here going into this next turn. And then we'll have a blocker as well, possibly, which is really nice. They just play hanger back. We're going to search for tomorrow. Comes off suspend. Ta-da. We'll go get a mountain. Uh, one, two, three. We'll hard cast search for tomorrow. We can go get our last forest. One, two. Secure a Tribe Elder, and Stomping Ground tapped. Go ahead, opponent. We have Scape Shift and Lethal next turn. Should be should be good. They have three cards. I have a blocker for Hanger Back. Feeling good. <laughs> Feel, feeling good. If Scape Shift fails us, we got a backup Primeval Titan. And we've got one, two, three, four. This will be five mountains out, six mountains out, leaving us with plenty. The game one was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts. All right, one, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and scape shift. We're not going to use the wooded foothills here. We should be good. They have two cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go get two Valakuts in it. Oh my gosh. Why did it do that? I clicked once. I clicked once. Are you kidding me, MTGO? Does MTGO automatically go searching if you select all of them now? I don't know if they're going to concede. I don't think they are. Does MTGO, like, auto-do it now? They shouldn't, because you can choose all the lands and then unselect. <laughs> this is what happens when they ban monkey. Once I have chosen, it does go automatically. It happened to me when playing Bring to Light. I might look at the clip later. I've chatted just to let them know. I, I asked if it does or not. Your mileage may vary. Oh gosh. Whatever. <clears throat> Well, I guess we're going to get this loss here. I'm curious while they're playing this out. Two cards here. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. We'll go get two Valakuts in it. Oh my gosh. Why did it do that? Yeah, it skipped right over to it. <laughs> oh well. We'll lose this one. It is a kind of loss that only happens online. <laughs> It literally just skipped over. You can hear the one click in the clip too. If it does that, it's not supposed to because you can unselect lands, which would actually be a bug. All right, well, we have a land here. It looks like our opponent's not gonna concede though. We'll give them one last chance maybe to do it, but they probably won't. Yep, you can see a change right before the one click, too. All right. We'll probably file for comp for that one. Onward we go. Got to put it behind us. Let's go. <laughs> Asterix 2 1. All right, this hand looks pretty good. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Do its thing. Got a removal spell as well. Let's do it. Cinderglade comes into play tapped. Only maybe downside to this. Ooh, another search for tomorrow. Suspend. Let's go. Let us go. Yeah, you can see it switches right before. All right, Grace, you take care. Extra Spire Bluff. We have a Mana Morphos for double red. Let me grab that clip. I'll use that later. What are we doing with our double red here? Nothing? Soul Scar Mage. I'll probably kill that. Oh, that was it. Interesting. Wonder if they accidentally clicked twice too. <laughs> Land that comes into play on tap would be nice. We don't hit any such things. We'll suspend. I have now put in the wrong land, too. That's good. What happened? Uh, I select all the lands and then went over to click, like, OK. And when I clicked, it changed the searching. When I when I basically registered the click, it then failed to find everything. And then our opponent uh, decided not to, not to scoop up, which is their choice. Uh, last God, I can probably because I can prove what happened during the gameplay, but I have to provide the clip. All right, we have a light up the stage here for one. My opponent's floated some extra mana. They're playing a little bit sloppy here. Hits two lands. We have a storm wing, which would be actually the better bolt target here. I'm going to go get a basic mountain here. That way I can far seek plus. Farseek plus uh, Bolt here. Do our draw step. Farseek. I'm going to try to get the Stormwing here. Take our Sheltered Thicket once again. Bolt here and Valakut. I'm hoping that they don't have a gut shot. Three cards. <laughs> they have one. Well, they have a mutagenic growth, I guess. I should be very specific here. At least that's not coming in at us for damage. That's good for us. And these are only two lands here, so they'll have at max three spells. One, two, three, four, five. Basically, a land here kills them, so that's really good. So let's find a land and we win. Manamorphose. That's a good start for them. Let's not see any lava darts. Lava dart, quad lava dart. That's gonna be the joke of the stream. All 
All right, extra storm wings, definitely not lethal here. Land one time. We've got five here. I have, I guess, the suspended search for tomorrow, but we could ask still for a land off the top, you know? You know, we don't have to use the suspended search for tomorrow. We have it here, though. We just need them to attack us, and then as long as they don't have a counter spell, which is rare. It's rare in game one. Super rare if they start doing this. Light up the stage, gut shot and swift spear. I assume they'll play a swift spear here. Cool. Should be good to go. One card in hand. Search for tomorrow off of suspend here. This is a turn four kill, which is what we want to be targeting with said escape shift. One, two, three, four, five, six. You then far seek. That gives you your seventh. Seven lands will equal a kill with scape shift. We just gotta make sure. And we're gonna click them safely here. Unless they just give it to me. See, this is the problem. I didn't get to practice. I didn't get to click these and see if it did it again. We were gonna draw a land if we did explore. All right, Angers, Balos, Weather the Storms is what we think we brought in last time. Chandra, one Primeval Titan out. Two Explorers. I would take, you know, one land out as well. Though this one land is dangerous. I think I take the Cinder Glade. You know what? I take the Sheltered Thicket. I don't like this card. That's the five. This is six. I need one more out here. I think I took one Escape as well last time. Cutting a little bit off the top because we're probably just going to Escape Shift them to win. Not necessarily prime time. And then we don't have time for probably to Escape the Wilds. Maybe I would keep four Primeval Titans in because I have the castles. I'm cutting one and one right now until I get more familiar with which happens more and whether I want the Primeval Titan or if I want to escape the wilds. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> it's so funny because... It's a, this is a great opportunity to talk about. It's still kind of rattling around in my head what happened there. And I'm disappointed that I did not win because I should. But you have to, you have to, whether the storm's here, we're going to keep this. You have to look away from that and just accept that, hey, what happened happened and I need to move on. And it's actually really tough right now because I know I could be 2-1. But we're just gonna we're just gonna have to just gonna have to work with it. Top deck forest was really sweet. Gets me completely on curve here. Completely on curve. I wonder if I try to do a weather the storm. I guess I should just leave it up as long as possible, right? There's Sprite Dragon. Ooh, okay. We're gonna leave up weather the storm. Things are gonna get interesting this next turn. Suspend goes down. Even if I find a far seek here, I'm gonna pass the turn. We can do all this later. I want to be able to weather the storm if they cast three spells. Then it'll be gain four million life. One spell. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Two spells. Yeah, yeah. Hit me with that next spell. Where's the lava dart? <laughs> <coughs> All right, weather the storm. It was a reasonable amount of things cast. Let's reset our life total a little bit here. I can also now Bayloth spell beers. That's kind of okay. Still get the storm stuff. Still gain six here. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then I'm going to gain more with Bayloth and have a juicy beastie blocker. Feels good. Based on the way we're going here, I'm going to go get a mountain. We could hit Valica triggers in the future. Cinderglade, let's go ahead and create a blocker here. 
What I can do is Valakut, Search, and Farseek next turn. And we should be close. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. We won't have quite enough to get things going. We're at 22. There's plenty of time. Opponent attacks. We're going to block. Blocking. What you doing? Manamorphose. Okay, it's a 2-3. They need another card underneath this. My opponent does not find anything else. We trade the Baylotha off. Sticks around. Nice. Alright, extra mountain here. Let's put Valakut down. If I do far seek and search right now, we have one, two, three, four, five. This makes six. Let's go ahead and just get all the mountains we can out. We'll play Valakut next, probably. I'm going to just attack here, too. Hitting them for four seems right. Down to 15. Scapeshift is kill. Probably um, the Wilds is close to kill. Fetchland's not quite a kill. A Dryad would be interesting here. Opponent fetches with Bloodstain Mire. Lights the stage. Finds Stormwing plus Light the stage. They can at least cast the other side of that Light the stage here after attacking. This is a big sprite dragon. This is going to be a kind of a problem. <laughs> Looks like they're just going to get a Stormwing here, so I need really Scapeshift or Titan, I think, at this point. We could have held the Farseek and the Search for tomorrow in case I top deck like a Dryad. Then I might have a few more things I could have done. All right. We have a 5-5 five, five and a 3-3, three, three, all flying. This is where the Fry would be better than the Anger. We brought the Anger in this time. Top deck is a Search. One, two, three, four, five. So I can play Valakut here and use Search. If I do Search, I get six. If I send six upstairs, that puts them to seven. I need to probably shoot the sprite dragon here we are starting to run out of mountains i'm going to hope they don't have a mutagenic growth but i don't think they do because i think they would have they would have uh used that to try to do a lot more damage so we're going to use valakuts in a, a defensive manner here and I believe I'm going to just go ahead and swing in to make it a closer game here. We know it's light at the stage, which is probably going to happen post, but it could happen pre-combat because of the, the amount of mana my opponent has. They have a max two spells here plus this. There's a lightning bolt. Okay. That puts me to 10. This is at four. That makes light at the stage cheaper. This is now a 5-5. Five, five. Lava Dart makes this a 7-7 seven, seven and puts me to 9. Or puts me to 8. So it puts me down to 1. They need one more spell. I can draw off the Fiery Islet looking for that last spell. Or am I going to 1? If I go to 1, Mountain and Attack is lethal. Ho, ho, ho. This is the boost we need. I'm going to get out of the rut from the other incident. Did we win? What you got?
<laughs> Should the blocker if they don't have a spell? Yeah. The Bayloth attacking for four. Sacrifices Lava Dart. This puts me to one. Seven, seven, and I'm at eight. Sends me to one. They're doing this in case I have a fetch land, I think. Which I don't. I have a mountain. I have a mount and I have a bolt. Upstairs they go. We got there. We got there with a bolt even. Now I can attack, and if they're trying to slow roll me, I counter back. There you go. That's the kind of win we want. That's the kind. That brings us back to what? Two and two? Recovery mode. Recovery mode initiated. Let's go. Going for that three, two. Let's see what we can do here. Can we can we steal this league away from our mishap earlier? Hmm. No ramp. This actually is probably a mulligan. The Jun 5-0 is still alive. We're gonna mulligan this because it only has escape. Even though it's nice to have all the lands, we do need to do some probably ramping here. Hey, look, we can kind of ramp now. I'm going to keep this only because my opponent's mulliganing. I'm going to get rid of one mountain, put it back on the list. We'll lead with a Cinder Glade here. My opponent has five or six cards. I have six cards. Why not? Temple Garden. Here we go. <laughs> Let's play our lands. Let's go ahead and explore to play an additional. We'll play our additional and pass turn. They know what's up. We have Bolt. We have Escape. Things are looking decent for us. We'll see what they play here on turn two. An Oriok champion. Pro red, pro black. Let's go ahead and explore here. We're going to play a land. We're going to play a land. We're going to pass the turn. I'm hoping my opponent doesn't go all crazy infinite life on me here. Fingers crossed. We'll see. We'll see. Heliod would be a would be rough. Utopia sprawl. Okay. Don't get me. Makes the white. Uh. All right. But I'm not dead yet. Escape shift. Okay. Tribelder does block. One, two, three, four, five, six. I probably would go ahead and just do an escape here. And hope for like another land, which I do hit. So I can play a land here. Man, I didn't hit. I didn't hit anything good. Well, I say that. <laughs> so the question is, do I want a tribe scout or do I want to be bolting? I probably just put the Valakut down and plan to bolt. With two Valakuts, one, two, three mountains here. Farseek, secure tribe elders and all of that. That would be a lot upstairs. Technically, Valakut could get rid of this, right? There's a Conclave. Okay. Gains life. I'm going to have to shoot this Conclave, aren't I? I'll let that resolve, because three damage isn't that scary. Spike Feeder. Mm. No. <laughs> no. Maybe they'll not put it here? Let's see if they'll mess up for me. Just let it go through. No. No, stop. All right. My opponent's got infinite life here, but they also have an infinite way to make Oriok Champion huge. They got us. All right. So, Pithing Needle. Of 
Graph Digger's Cage is a maybe. Sometimes they play Collected Company. Anger of the Gods isn't the worst thing. Getting rid of some, some specific creatures is a, a thing we can do. This is going to be a tough one. I think I have to name like Spike Peter with a Pithy Needle, honestly. Pithy Needle, Grafticker Cage, and a couple Angers here. Veil vale doesn't do much. Force could kill a Walking Ballista, but we have the, the bolts for that. Weather of the Storm's not going to gain us enough. I'm not winning with Bayloth. I need a combo. Fry. Fry hits white creatures. But the Fry can't hit Oriok Champion. It hits Conclave. It hits Ranger. I wonder if that's better than an escape here. I'm on the play. It may not be better than an escape, honestly. I think we I think we just. Send it with the anger that pithy noodles and all that. Bye. <laughs> we'll send it. This is going to be a hard matchup, but pithy needle may save us. Who knows? Okay. Ramp, ramp, ramp. No pithy needle. We're on the play. Shall we? I don't think I can just look for pithy needle because then I just name one thing and they could have the other. Sand has a lot of ramp in it, and if we can just get to that scape shift on turn four, we could we could get him, especially with a dryad here. All right, Temple Garden doing its thing. Let's go ahead and far seek this turn. Let's get that sheltered thicket out of here. So we get to suspend off. We can play search, Steve. We don't have a Valka here for the Dryad just yet. This is maybe Oriok Champion, okay. Suspend here. Cast. Go get another Mountain. So there's a Primeval Titan. So we can do that next turn. So we want to cast a Search for this, for, Search for tomorrow, get Mountain here. We can then Steve. Steve is going to get another red source. And then we'll have six mana. We can get Valakut plus land. One, two, three, four, five. Valakut land and kill Oriark here. This is gonna be a turn four Titan. Which isn't bad. I believe Alakut's not red, right? <laughs> it's a land. This is this is pretty good. This is probably about as good as it gets, right? There's a land. One, two, three, four, five. Primeval Titan. How that trigger? They go up to two. Valakut plus another land. So yes. Valakut. Stomping Ground should work. Trigger. Shoot Oriok Champion. Yes. Windswept Teeth down. Pass. I'm keeping the Windswept Teeth down in case I have to go after something. A good example would be a scavenging news here. Then they couldn't exactly begin activating the scavenging news because I would then in response use windswept teeth. So that's like the only reason that we might have a shot here. And then I'll start attacking and we'll probably just leave this as a way to get rid of that exact scenario problem along with tribe elder. Although we should kill them with just dryad. Yeah, exactly. Fetch in response to the spike feeder is exactly what we're worried about. And at this point, I don't believe there's any way to grow the spike feeder. If they have another land in a way to block the spike feeder, one thing they could have is land and collected company. Collected company conclave plus. 
a spike feeder and then that way it would come in with three they could begin the loop if i fetch they can then restart the loop at the target and then they would be fine so that is the out i believe for our opponent is land coco spike feeder conclave the other line could be spike feeder oriok champion because then etb they see each other Oriok triggers Heliod. Heliod puts the third counter onto the Spike Feeder, and then they can um, let that resolve and then go gain, and I can't kill it. So we need to avoid this Collected Company. Tough matchup, though. Tough one. Red and green doesn't really have a good way to attack a Heliod. That whole indestructible portion is brutal. This is probably the worst matchup? It may be. It, it, it very well may be. We actually tune the sideboard just ever so slightly, and it's coming into play here where we uh, we don't have it now. It's in the, in the, in the list, but um, our opponents uh, have to deal with at least a Pipping Needle. So that benefits us ever so slightly here. I love the recover here from Magic Online's little goof up earlier. See, it's still in the mind. You need to forget about it. We're remembering it so you all will learn. This guy doesn't learn. <laughs> what are we doing here, first time player? We're not frozen. Good. I don't want to be frozen. They really have just two outs. Two, two scenarios, I believe, that are outs. So if they don't have the lands, they're dead. We can start there. If they do something like Ranger, Sacrifice. So there's the land. All right, I do not want to see this fetched. This is great coming back to us. They had to AFK, no problems, no problems. Dryad here. Uh, maybe it's smarter to play Elder first, actually. Elder first then drives the correct sequence here in case they have like path or something. All right, little miss sequence there, but we're good. Okay, changes are probably nothing. I think we just got to go with it. Ramp like crazy. This would be the turn to have the Pithing or the Graph Digger's Cage. And hope for the best. Maybe you keep the explorers in over the escapes just because of how it has to work out. One thing my opponent could potentially have is like a worship and that would be a little bit rough. All right, match five, final match here. Let's see if we can get there. Hard ramp with a pithy needle would be great. There's a graph digger's cage. This isn't really hard ramp though. Uh, logic, I don't know. Probably not because I have work every day and we have to we have to go up for my nine to five job uh, da, 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 da. Graph diggers cage is only preventing a collected company and collected company happens at probably about turn three or four for our opponent We have scape shift dryad and bolt although these are nice. I have no ramp for this You don't want scape shift necessarily in your opening hand. Let's mulligan All right, here we go. This works. I'm gonna get rid of I think Scape shift, although, yeah, we're gonna get rid of scape shift. Primeval Titan's just better here. This is good. Pithy Needle, so this is interesting. Pithy Needle probably has to name Spike Beater. That would be my guess. Ooh, an Arbor Elf, okay. I think it's gotta name Spike Feeder. It could name Arbor Elf here, but that would be dumb, I think, with this Anger of the Gods, so.
So what beats us here? Walking Ballista, Heliod, and uh, that would do it. Spike Feeder beats us because of infinite life. Can I wait a turn here? I potentially could wait a turn, but then that prevents my ramping if I find another thing here. Yeah, I think Spike Feeder I just can't beat, where if they have Walking Ballista and enough mana, I wasn't going to win to that either. And if they have just a few creatures here, I'm hoping to be able to anger them away. So let's go ahead and Pithy Needle and name Spike Feeder. Yeah, I think Feeder's just got to be it. It's 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 tough here because there's a lot of things that just combo kill us. This will go get probably Basic Forest. We're probably going to see Utopia Sprawl and four Mana Made here. Nope, nope. Basic Planes. Okay. All right. Just a Heliod Ranger. All right, Ranger goes and gets a Walking Ballista. Well, I wasn't going to do much here on turn two anyway. Farseek's a good draw. We're just going to do our Farseek things. We're going to go get that Sheltered Thicket out of our list and pass the turn. Wasn't going to anger. That was our turn two. We'll see what happens here. Tax for three. That makes perfect sense here. I'd expect Heliod or something. Looks like it's going to be a Collected Company. All right, so Collected Company here. We do stop this with an with a Anger a little bit. So let's go ahead and just fire the Anger off. It's not the greatest use here, but they're going to have to at least float the mana with Arbor Elf and then cast it. I don't think just waiting on this Anger makes much sense, unfortunately. It'd be great to have a Graph Digger's Cage here. Been able to play Graph Digger's Cage, then the Anger. Here we go. What do you hit? It's funny with the slower start here, we could have had the Graph Digger's Cage. They've got the Heliod, they've got the Conclave. If they have the land, they win the game. They don't, then they can just wait. And I don't have an extra Pithy Needle here. Oriok Champion is lethal. Possibly next turn. Okay. I'm going to play our Stomping Ground. I need them to whiff on land, I think. I have only five lands. No Primeval Titan. They could make Walking Ballista a 2-2 two -two here. Extra Conclave. Okay. This is... um. Scary. <laughs> okay. What can I do with Primeval Titan? This is a 5-5 five five over here. Oh my gosh. 10. Shock in. Land Valakut. Yeah, they could have made a big walking ballista. They they didn't. They still can. I appear to be dead. I appear to be dead, but maybe I'm not. Hold on. I shock in. I go to three. I prime evil titan. I get a Valakut plus something else. One, two, three, four, five. It has to be a mountain. I shoot Oriok Champion. Prime Evil Titan can block here. This is two in. Put me to one and then walking ballista kills. Yeah. I don't get double Valakuts or anything like that. I would have needed a Dryad earlier. Bolt a little bit earlier could have potentially shut this off and I wouldn't have taken as much damage.
I can play this and see if they goof up a little bit here. Um, this can make like this over here too big to kill as well. So it is technically a three-two league without the whole whole ordeal that we uh, ran into. So Valakut here plus Stomping Ground seems reasonable. No damage. We'll go ahead and shoot this, but then we got two five fives we got to deal with. A oh, good game. This is definitely a tough matchup. Uh, yeah, but land Valakut is yeah. I can't bolt the Oriarch Champion, but I can definitely um do other things. Oh man, they had just another Oriarch Champion. All right, that's a tough matchup. Actually, let's kill this. Woohoo! Let's kill one creature. 2-3 <laughs> overall, a 3-2 without the magic bug that we ended up running into. So a 3-2 league in general. I'm not too disappointed with the escape shift list here in modern. It's a bit of an older list. Thylian gave us some uh, bought the league, so that's very generous. Thank you. I... You're going to have trouble against the combo list. We luckily at least had the Pithy Needle, but even with the Pithy Needle in there, you could see where Heliod was just going to be too much. So the question becomes with the Heliod combo, if it is prevalent enough, what else are you going to need? You almost need like a Damping Matrix or something to stop kind of all of the abilities. And then you have just Oriox Conclaves that you could die to. Depends on how far in on that combo your opponent is. And by all in, uh, how far in, I mean how all in are they? Are they just like trying to do this on turn three as fast as possible? Or are they being a little more diverse here with the Conclave and the Oriok Champion like our opponent there? That'll all decide it there. We end up losing one, one of the league matches there to the Hardened Scales when we had 32 damage and Magic Online did its thing. Bummer. Weather of the Storm was pretty good. I'm glad we added that. And we actually didn't really need as many Veil of Summers. Uh, blue lists are a little bit on the downtrend. So you don't need as many counter spells as you, you typically would would uh, have. The Fries are interesting. I think we would take two Fries out and bring in like another Pithy Needle. And then maybe something else to try to tackle that Heliod combo. Just a little bit more. Yeah, opponent can't gain life might be a way to approach that. A Roiling Vortex could be interesting. A Frostodon's definitely interesting. Just other things, like you said, that prevent life gain. Kozlik's Return wouldn't be bad here as a one-of replacement for Fry. That would get rid of some of those pro-red creatures. Definitely wouldn't be a bad, bad idea. I don't like the Chandra in this list. As big of a proponent as I am for Chandra... With Prowess being so popular, maybe you get a Bolt in here. But in general, it, it worked out. It, it definitely can hold its own. I like that the Escape the Wilds is just like, next turn I'm going to beat you. It's very much a card that's going to win you the next turn. And I, I do like that about this card. It's definitely a fun one to, to try. Thylion, thank you so much. And there you have it. Escape Shift here in Modern.